Hi, my name's Karine and I work here at Lollipop Cake Supplies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crumb coat a cake in buttercream. And crumb coating is not dipping the cake in egg and rolling it in breadcrumbs as my husband thought. So, just so you know. <laughs> So, first things first, you've got to cut your cake into the layers to be able to put buttercream in between. This is also known as torting. Um, now, I normally do this with an egg base, so just bear with, these aren't going to be even. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. And this will just be my afternoon tea for later. All right, well, now that we've got our cakes trimmed into their layers, we can now start the fun process of buttercreaming. So first, you just need to put a little bit of buttercream on your board, and that will help the cake to stick. Press it down so it's stuck, and there you go, it's not moving. All the crumbs, and then, just put a dollop of buttercream on there. Yeah, we'll go a bit more, hey? All right. And then you just want to spread the buttercream round so it's nice and even. Next layer. Just make sure that the edges are straight. Oh, like it's straight. Do you know what I mean? So you don't have like a layer sticking out to the side. That's what I mean. All right, more buttercream. Oh. And do the same again. There we go, that'll do. And then my top tip is to use the bottom of the cake for the top. Because it's nice and all baked in, there'll be less crumbs. So it just um, helps cut down you know, the work that you've got to do. And you also know that it's nice and flat and even. Like that, ta-da! <laughs> okay, now we have put in the beautiful buttercream between the layers of our lovely white mud cake. Um, we're now actually gonna get down to the business of the crumb coat. So when you crumb coat, that essentially means that you're putting a thin layer of icing around the outside of the cake and that will lock in any of the, the um, loose crumbs that are on the cake. And then you pop that into the fridge and then you can put your final layer of buttercream on, safe in the knowledge there'll be no crumbs infecting it. So, get some more buttercream and we just spread it along the outside of the cake. It doesn't need to be a very thick layer at all. Some of you may find it easier with a larger spatula. I just really like this little four inch one, even though it probably takes me double the time to do it. But, you know, I only have small hands. So. And this does not have to be neat at all. It's just, I have a problem. <laughs> and I have to make it neat. donkey. All right, so then we need to just scrape that back a little bit. There's a huge choice of scrapers out there. Um, I really like the clear acrylic ones that we sell in a pack of four. Um, however, for buttercream, I think that a metal one is better. These are really great for ganache, but um, we'll go with this one today for, um, for our buttercream. So you just put the, um, the scraper up against the cake and then you essentially just Move it round with the turntable and scrape off any excess ice, icing. Oh. There you go. As I said, it doesn't need to be neat because this isn't the final coat. So there we go. That'll do. And then you can just use that icing again um, to just put a, a thin coat on the top of the cake as well. Just do that. Again, 
you can scrape it if you want to. Um, I'll just tidy it up because that's me. <laughs> There you go. And that's it. That's the crumb coat done. Now you would just pop that in the fridge until it hardens up and then you can do your final um, decorative layer on top of it, which I'm not doing today because it's just a crumb coat video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>